Hi, I'm Todd from Studio Pro. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the Studio Pro lines of throwing bats. We have four of them. Three of them are various wood products, and we also offer a line of excellent plastic bats. Choosing the right bat should be based on the kind of work you make in your studio situation and also some personal preference. Some bats are better suited to specific studio situations and for making different kinds of work. I'd like to give you a bit of information about the various bats we make to help you make that choice. All of our bats are made using a CNC router. This is a computer directed cutting tool that gives us great edge quality and perfect control over the bat's geometry and the size of the bat pin holes. Each of our bats has a round hole and a slot routed into the surface for pin mounting. The slot is necessary to compensate for typical variations found in wheel head pin spacing. We make our bats to fit snugly. We don't want them to lift as you're pulling up the wall of your pot. If they are too loose, please check that your bat pins are not worn to a smaller diameter. This often happens after they've been used for a period of time due to the abrasive quality of clay. If the mounting holes are too tight for your preference, it's simple enough to enlarge them. Using a small square of sandpaper wrapped around a pencil, pass it through the hole a couple of times, checking fit as you go. Be careful not to overdo it. You can always enlarge the hole further if it's still too tight. We make bats from four different materials. In addition to our line of black plastic bats, we use three different wood products. Studio Pro Signature, Studio Pro Medex, and Studio Pro Tempered Hardboard. This is our tempered hardboard bat, which is what many potters refer to as masonite. Masonite was a brand name which has been out of production for about 10 years now. We use a domestically made material which has very similar properties. We've made bats from this material and the old masonite before that for about 20 years and potters used masonite for probably 30 years before that. Our tempered hardboard has a nice absorbency which helps when sticking a ball of clay to a bat. It also gives you a bit of bottom drying after your piece is finished. Tempered hardboard bats are affordable and their thinness makes them easy to handle and store. When properly cared for, they'll last for several years. Tempered hardboard works great in a controlled studio situation, say that of an individual potter or a small group of potters, where everyone using these understands how to care for them. Where these, and to some extent, all wood bats do not perform as well, is in a situation where pots are left on bats for extended periods of time covered in plastic. This is pretty typical in community art centers and some schools where students come to class once a week and leave their pots covered for a week at a time. This results in too much water absorption into the surface of the bat and that will inevitably lead to some warping. Having said that, these bats are favored by many potters and in our bat care and use video, I can show you how to use them so they hold up for years. This material is called Medex. Medex is an MDF or medium density fiber board. You can recognize it by its blonde color. This material is similar to tempered hardboard but a bit thicker, 3 eighths of an inch thick. It offers greater rigidity than the hardboard bats. They won't flex when you lift them from the wheel head. This material also has a small glue content which increases its durability. The last of our wood bats is also a medium density fiber board. This is our Studio Pro Signature Bat. These are made from an exterior grade MDF, and while this material is created to be more resistant to water, it still has a nice absorbency and provides good clay adhesion. In the long term, these bats hold up even better than Medex, and at a full half inch thick, they are super rigid when lifting them off the wheel with heavier pots on them. We also give them a nice bull-nosed edge for better wear and easier lifting. Finally, we have our black plastic bats. These are a very affordable plastic bat that, without a lot of special care, will last for a long time. So long as they're stored properly, warping really isn't an issue with these. Some plastic used for making bats is smooth on one side and textured on the other. In my opinion, the textured side offers much better clay adhesion onto the surface of the bat, 
where the smooth side can be a bit problematic. The plastic material that we use has texture on both sides. This produces a true two-sided bat. Cutting plastic can leave a sharp edge. We put a rounded or bullnose finish on each of our plastic bats, so that's never an issue. These are a great choice if you leave your pots on bats for a long period of time or really like the idea of being able to wash them before you put them away. My family's been in the manufacturing business making a variety of products out of materials like these since before I was born. I, along with my wife Aisha, who is also my business partner and an amazing potter, have made pots for a long time before we started this business. Still, we remain active in our studios and as ceramics teachers. We've used all these bats extensively ourselves, and we've seen them used by others in various studio environments. We understand these products thoroughly as manufacturers, as potters, and as teachers. We feel confident that we've chosen the right materials and designed our bats to meet the needs of most potters, and we work hard to keep them affordable. I hope this information has been helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching. You can find a list of the distributors who carry our bats on our website. You can also purchase a wider selection of bats and other products directly from us on our website, www.studioprobats.com. Thanks again for watching. Make great pots.